tournament for Mark Pugh. Williams Goss completes the three point play. And Zaga shot 29% from three point range in the first three games of this tournament in South Dakota State, Northwestern, and West Virginia. They hit 12 out of 14 in their one sided win over Xavier. Then they're 500 from beyond the line tonight. Collins called for the foul. Silva makes the free throw. A little pressure now in the backcourt. Trying to force some turnovers. Gonzaga has such good and veteran guards, they're not likely to be negatively impacted by the press. Tell you, did a great job here in finding the trail man after the trap. So well coached. Matthews has it rejected by P.J. Dozier. As well, played on your South Carolina team. Going Staley, now going for the national title. Corner three doesn't fall for Williams Goss. Well, a chance to get the deficit back into single digits. South Carolina was down by nine at the half. I haven't been able to knock them out. Dozier, the bucket. Hunziker has not been able to knock them out. There's no quit on that sideline because of their leader. He will not let them quit. Every time they've made a big basket, you said it earlier, they have to come back with a score. But right there, forced the turnover. Will it lead the points? Mark Few said that was his biggest concern, the turnover that leads the points for South Carolina. Cinderius Thornwell brings their crowd back. The lead was 14 a moment ago. Big, big play right there. Taking the turnover, putting the hands of your star. Your star delivers. The game cut faithful, go wild. They love it. It's a six point game, baby. Six points. Take a look right here. Last two possession of curl move. Nice little jumper at the foul line and missed it. Thornwell. Kick it out to their ace. Here he is. He's been struggling. Not struggling here. Big one. He's a prolific scorer. 25.8 a game in the tournament thus far. We mentioned they've done it the hard way coming back in the second half. Three of their four wins in this NCAA tournament. They trailed at halftime. They're just the fourth team in history to come from behind three times at the half to make it to the final four. The last team to do that was Georgetown in 2007. Villanova, the Almost miraculous winner over Georgetown in the championship game. 85 did it, and Al McGuire's 1977 Marquette team won three times after trailing at the half to reach the final four. And Carolina do it again. Long way to go, nine and a half minutes. And Nigel Williams-Goss out there with Perkins, who hands it off to Jonathan Williams. Nice move, and then... It was contested underneath. There's that defense again. Very physical, South Carolina. Dozier, yes! Ah. Here come the Gamecocks again. We got a game, buddy. We got a game. Game is on. Momentum really right there. Up the ball on the side of the Gamecocks. Holding the ball too much. Got to get a little bit more ball movement. Too stationary. Ten seconds to shoot. Foul called. Offensive foul on Jonathan Williams as Thornwell stood in there to take the hit. Second He's, foul. Tell you one thing about Thornwell. He is not just a one-dimensional player. He plays on the defensive end as well as the offensive end. A terrific job defensively. Beats him to the spot. There he is right there. That's a good call. South Carolina has hit its last six shots. This is a one and one by the freshman Felder. And out of bounds, Gonzaga last to touch. Silva kept it alive for South Carolina. Out hustling them, out scrapping them right there. Got to make those free throws though. Coming down the latter stages of the game. Full 30 seconds on the shot clock for the game cuts. Stop and go by Felder. Goes right at the big man, Karnowski. Silva fouled on the way back up. And if that's on Karnowski, I believe that's his fourth. I believe it is on Karnowski. They want Silva so active on the glass. 
Three fouls on Jonathan Williams, so Gonzaga with foul difficulty. Five fouls, and you are disqualified from the game. Tell you one thing, they're getting the mailbox out big time here in Spokane. This is nerve wracking time. Looked like they were in great shape up 14. Wow. Wow. What a moment. Here they go. Not only a deuce, the game comes. Perkins, a lot of dribbling, held the ball for almost half the shot clock, and they reassert their advantage inside. Karnowski had a good look. That's one of his best shots with the left. It didn't go. I'll tell you one thing, Sean. You're exactly right. Too much with the dribble. They're not moving the ball like they did earlier. Two to tie and three for an improbable lead for South Carolina, down by 14 just moments ago, less than four minutes ago. They were down 14. Silva blocked by Collins. Silva blocked by Karnowski. Dozier oh. scores over oh. the two big men with a high arcing shot to tie it. Tell you what, that's just tenacity. That's toughness. That is absolute toughness. And they love it. Look at their bench. Look at their bench. Look at their fans. Oh, baby. They want this, baby. The Zags better lace them up for the next seven minutes. This club is babbling, babbling. Wow. Look at that bench. Look at the bench. They love it, baby. Love it. Wow. Already come from behind at the half. In three of the first four games of this NCAA tournament to make the final four, they're trying to do it again. 14 zip run. And I'll tell you, Dozier's had a really strong second half. As his buddy is scoring with Mr. Thornwell, bangs down a big three. I'm telling you, what an effort. Tremendous tenacity, toughness on the inside. Silver so active. Well, it's a veteran Gonzaga team. Can they keep their poise on this enormous stage? None of them have ever played in front of 77,000 people. None of them have played in a Final Four. Zach Collins, nice move. For most of the year, except in the tournament, they've been really good offensively. Big ball screen by Karnowski. Five to shoot. Boy, Williams Goss had some room. He missed it. Silva the rebound. And now South Carolina with a chance to take its first lead since it was 10 to 8. Felder. He was so clutch down the stretch of that win against Duke. He had 15 points. He averages less than six per game as Matthews comes back in. And they made a lot of free throws to seal that win against the Blue Devils. Felder, the freshman, with all that pressure, went nine out of ten from the free throw line in the win over Duke. Scored 65 in the second half. Unbelievable. You think about it. So their first lead since the opening moments of the game. Can the Cinderella run continue to the championship game for South Carolina? And They've scored 16 points in a row. This is truly Cinderella. Truly Cinderella. 